they paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who, or how, or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek. Had it even. You. Your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop! He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. <clears throat> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. Quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Now don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearned for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you. No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars, as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly... We shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil.
there, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Other side?
power source should be in one of the rooms up here. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. 
Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo, with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha!
Ja, Mann. Not yet. My apologies, I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Connor, what do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered, focused. It is good you have come. Uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invalid.
last words? Wait. A poor choice. Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom. Justice. Independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates. Medical supplies and clothing as well. was a wagon here, slowly weighed down as they loaded the supplies.
quartered her. Saw a bit of gunpowder in those crates. We'll get extra for that. I, Church, will be pleased and we'll be rich. I almost feel bad for the Yanks, shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crown's sure to win in the end. You waste all those lives chasing the little moment. wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> of course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I mean. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Ah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet.
victim of murder. Ah, shit. Goose.